Hi everyone, welcome back. We are doing our last Bible reading of the week because it is Friday. Um, we're on Exodus chapter 8, verse 1 through 15, and this is called the second plague, frogs. Then the Lord said to Moses, go to Pharaoh and say to him, thus says the Lord, let my people go so that they may worship me. If you refuse to let them go, I will plague your whole country with frogs. The river shall swarm with frogs. They shall come up into your palace, into your bedchamber, in your bed, and into the houses of your officials and of your peoples, and into your ovens and your needy bowls. The frogs shall come up on you and on your people and on all your officials. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your hand with your staff over the rivers, the canals, and the pools, and make frogs come up on the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. But the magicians did the same by their secret arts and brought frogs up on the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and said, Pray to the Lord to make to take away the frogs from me and my people, and I will let the people go to sacrifice to the Lord. Moses said to Pharaoh, Kindly, tell me when I am to pray for you and for your officials and for your people, that the frogs may re be removed from you in your houses and be left only in the Nile. And he said, Tomorrow. Moses said, As you say, so that you may know that there is no one like the Lord of your God, the Lord our God. The frogs shall leave you and your houses and your officials and your people. They shall be left only in the Nile. Then Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried out to the Lord concerning the frogs that he had brought upon Pharaoh. And the Lord did as Moses requested. The frogs died in the houses, the courtyards, and the fields. And they gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was a respite, he hardened his heart and would not listen to them, just as the Lord had said. Okay, so... This is the second plague. We learned of the first plague yesterday, and there's many more plagues to come that we will read about in next week. So this is the second plague, and the second plague is the frogs. Because the Pharaoh's still not listening to God to let his people go, um, he brings frogs to everywhere among Pharaoh's kingdom, basically, and bothers Pharaoh with it. So Pharaoh says to Moses, pray to the Lord to make the frogs go away, except for in the Nile. So he does that, and the frogs die, and it stinks because all the frogs die, and all of Pharaoh's people have to clean that up and stuff. But Pharaoh still doesn't let the um, Israelites go. He just lets them um, worship a little bit but he doesn't let them leave his control basically is what I'm seeing here and he's just not taking no for he's just not listening to the Lord I guess and this is going to cause more and more plagues as we will see um and maybe we should just listen to the Lord maybe this is what this is saying is we need to listen to the Lord we need to try to do our best to do what he says and make what he says our truth and our path onto life. So that's all I'm going to give to you today. Um, we'll look at the third plague on Monday and I hope to see you guys back on Monday. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys then and I hope you have a great rest of your day.